What's up people, good day, good morning, good evening. I hope everyone's enjoying their Sundays or, or have enjoyed their Sunday depending on what side of the world you may find yourself on today. I pray that you've been to church today, you've had communion, you've had fellowship with your believers, that you've received a word from your leader at church and that you're not just going to hear that word but you're also going to apply that word to your life. It's in the application of the word of God is where we find our life transformed, our life changed, our life prosper, our life, our life go to a new direction, a more positive direction, a, a direction in which we walk on a more positive path. So today's study verses are 1 Corinthians 13, 7. Then I'm going to start by reading from the Amplified Version. And then I'm going to read from the New Living Translation and the Tree of Life Version, which is going to, it's going to be our three primary versions for, for now into the future. And it, and it reads, Love bears all things, regardless of what comes. Believes all things, looking for the best in each one. Hopes all things, remaining steadfast during difficult times. Endures all things, without weakening. That was from the Amplified. And from the NLT it reads, Love never gives up, never loses faith. It, always, it is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. And from the Tree of Life version it reads, It bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things. It endures all things. So think about what that means for one second and we'll come back in. One. So what's it saying to you? It's showing you, it's showing you what the true meaning of love is and what love does. Love endures. Love isn't temporary. You don't just decide, oh, I love this thing. Like for instance, I like this uh, tin pineapple, for instance. I don't just decide, oh, I love this tin pineapple. And then another day I, I might be like, oh, I don't know, I've had enough of this tin pineapple. Forget it. Then I'll just toss the can to the side. That isn't real love. Real love is like, I'm going to love this tin pineapple to the day I die and forever. That's true love. Real love endures. So when it says here, love bears all things regardless of what comes. So that means any situation, any circumstance, anything that may happen in the world or life itself can come, can come up against that love and that love bears through that circumstance, situation or event. And it doesn't fall, it doesn't stop, it doesn't retreat. No, love endures everything that comes its way. It survives, it moves forward, it flourishes because love is eternal. Love is without condition. True love is, is unconditional. And how do we know that? Because Christ is, and God, sorry, is the example we have for true love. He, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So whoever may believe in him may not, may not perish but find everlasting life. That's the gospel, you know. That's what love is. Love is God willing to come down to be, to be on the level of the created, even though he's the creator, in order to save us, and in, in order for us to understand his character from a human perspective. That's love. Love isn't, I like this pineapple now and another day I'm going to toss it in the trash. That's not love. Nowadays, unfortunately, the world teaches that love is a temporary arrangement, that you can love something or someone in a certain season in life, and in another season you're like, goodbye, I'm out, G. And then you move somewhere else, you find someone else, you get with someone else, you find something else you love, job, partner, whatever it may be. And that, and that those people, that thing from, the, from, from, your, from your time before is gone. It's forgotten about. It's finished. That isn't love. Love love endures through every trial, every circumstance. It doesn't matter how negative it may be to continue loving because love counts. It doesn't care about consequences of what could happen to you if you continue to love. Love is without condition. That's what Jesus Christ did. He, he died on the cross because he loved us. He looked at the circumstance he was in. Obviously, one of the most painful, horrific, humiliating deaths in human history and he, and, he, and he looked and he, and he, he counted it, his death, as worth something. Why? Because he loved us. He was willing to die for us and he did that. And it says here, Believes all things, looking for the best in each one. Hopes all things, remaining steadfast during difficult times. Endures all things without weakness. And love continues to hope. It's always hopeful. When something looks bad, love looks up. Whenever people look down, love looks up. Love is looking up. When you love, you look for the best. You don't look for the worst. 
you see the best and you look for the best for other people. When you love someone, for instance, you don't look for the, for, for to put them down, you look to lift them up. When God says love our neighbour as ourselves, what does that truly mean? It means to love others unconditionally. That means lifting other people up, not looking to push them down. Being selfless, not selfish. Love is always hopeful. <clears throat> Never loses faith or gives up. Loses faith, sorry, or gives up. Love doesn't give up or give out. It continues. It flourishes. And it's always look, looking hopeful for the future. When you're in love with someone or something, when you truly love someone or something, no matter how bad something may seem, in reality, in the scene, you look to the future and you think about what that thing could be or what that thing will turn into. You know, look at the current situation. When you love something or someone, you think, oh, I love this person, I love this, and I know if you keep going this way, or you keep doing this thing, or you go down this path, you're going to do better for yourself, and you're going to flourish. That's the hopeful love. Love is hopeful. <clears throat> God looks down on us, and he hopes that we will follow his will for our lives. And when we follow his will for our lives, our, our life flourishes. How? Because when we follow his will, we reside in his love. And when we reside in his love, we find our life flourish beyond our wildest imagination. It says here, love never gives up, never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. <clears throat> it bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things. It endures all things. So love endures. Our faith is about endurance. Endurance to the end so we can receive the, the, crown, the crown of life we've been promised. <clears throat> but we can't fully endure in our faith unless we understand the concept of love. Love is an, un is an unconditional affection of something. It's an unconditional belief in something. And an unconditional like of something. Love is unconditional. That's what true love is. And it endures through every circumstance. And when we truly love God, when we truly love our neighbour as ourselves, we're willing to go the extra mile. We're willing to do the extra thing in all in order to make that centerpiece of our life because we love god we put him first because we love people we put them second and put ourselves last after these two things why because love is without condition love is sacrificial just as jesus christ died on the cross we're called <clears throat> to copy the pattern he's shown us sacrificial love so as we go through life today let's love and remember love never gives up never loses faith never looks back and always is hopeful. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace.